हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ईपीजी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर वरुण व्यास फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिजिक्स एंड एक्स एस्ट्रोफिजिक्स फ्रॉम यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ दिल्ली टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मॉड्यूल रिकॉर्डर्स एंड रिकॉर्डिंग सिस्टम पार्ट वन फ्रॉम पेपर इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी स्टडी अबाउट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक रिकॉर्डिंग डिवाइसिस इन द इंट्रोडक्शन first we will briefly discuss about the data recording systems and its types under graphic recorders we will study about chip chart recorders circular chart recorders and xy recorders in the end we will study about oscillographic recorders and its types galvanometric recorders and crt recorders a recorder or an electronic recording device is a measure, measuring instrument which displays time varying signal in a form that can be examined or reexamined even long after the signal has ceased to exist a recording system first helps to preserve the information that can be obtained in any instant from the indicating instrument and second the information regarding the waveforms and the transient behavior or any phase relationship in different parts of a circuit recording systems are of two types analog recorders and digital recorders analog recorders can be further classified as a a graphic recorders b oscillographic and digital recorders graphic chart recorders a graphic chart recorder draws a graph that relates to or more variables to time or to each other let us first study about graphic chart recorders which are of three types first a strip chart recorder second a circular chart recorder and third xy recorder strip chart recorders here one or more variables are recorded with respect to time so they are also called xt recorder various components that constitute a strip chart recorder are shown in the following figure first paper drive system it consists of long roll of graph paper also called as chart that moves vertically it is driven by synchronous motor with a speed selector switch this helps to control the speed of the chart conveniently in fixed increments next is marking mechanism earlier most of the strip chart recorders were fitted with inked pen and paper type recording system but with recent advances various other categories of marking mechanisms have been developed for both laboratory and industrial applications various types of marking mechanism in use are described below a pen and ink this is the most familiar type of marking mechanism and types of pen in used in this systems are the bucket pen the v pen the fiber tipped pen and the ball point pen the tip should not have any burrs or sharp edges so that they do not pick up paper or damage the chart roll the advantage of this system is its simplicity and low operating cost this recorder works well over wide range of recording speeds and there is little friction between the stylus and the paper this system has few drawbacks like there is a hazard of ink spillage or when pen is damaged there can be impairment in ink flow ink can dry in the tube connecting the pen and the reservoir this can clog or ruin the entire pen assembly finally Uh, the pen friction can introduce errors during recording and it can be operated at frequency of few hertz only 
B is impact printing. It is a variant of ink paper system. Here a moving pointer is clamped in a position and a press bar above the pointer presses down onto the carbon ribbon located between the pointer and the paper chart. Carbon markings are imprinted on the chart serve as a record. Large format recorders with 0.28 meters wide strip chart use impact printing method to record data. At any time around 20 variables such as pressure, temperature etc can be recorded simultaneously. C. Thermal writing. This inkless technique involves thermal writing elements that are actuated by electric currents and output post is traced on a heat sensitive paper. This method is most reliable and produces higher contrast traces. More advanced systems employ papers with wax surfaces and special pens to record frequency response up to 40 Hz. D. Electric writing. Here, electric writing substrate is used which is made up of a dense black substrate coated with aluminum. A tungsten wire stylus is kept in light contact with the aluminum surface. When voltage is applied, aluminum is etched and a black edge substrate is exposed. A minimum of 35 volt DC is applied at a frequency of 8 Hz to avoid possible grounding via aluminum chart. It has a high range of marking speed, a low stylus friction and a long stylus life. The only drawback of this system is the high cost of paper. E. Light beam method. In this system, galvanometer is fitted with a mirror which is attached in the spindle of measuring coil and a beam of light reflected through it strikes a photosensitive paper. This method works well at higher frequencies and allows relatively higher chart speed without compromising the resolution. Its main disadvantage is high cost of paper and requires development of photographic paper before records can be observed. This method is not suited for real-time monitoring as photographic plates or paper require development before any observations can be made. F. Electrostatic writing. Stylus is used in this system produces a high voltage discharge that leaves a permanent trace on electrosensitive paper. This system is made up of three elements. An imaging head, a toning head and a vacuum knife. This imaging head consists of a linear array of thousand wire elements with four spaced wire per millimeter spread over a total length of 0.25 meter. There are 32 copper bars on each side of the array called shoes. When paper moves over the image head, a negative voltage is applied to the selected wire element and to the closest shoes, a positive voltage is applied. This leaves a positive charge on the paper at the writing points and then paper passes through uh, the toner head over the negatively charged ink particles and particles adhere wherever paper has a positive charge. Paper then passes through vacuum knife that removes the excess ink. When paper is exposed to air, coated particles bond permanently to the paper and the record paper emerges dry. Circular chart recorders. 
these start recorders were developed to take advantage and handiness of spring wound clock and synchronous motor movements that can drive the chart in a circular manner. A circular chart recorder is shown in figure 3. In this recorder, a circular chart with ruled concentric circles forms its scales, plus there are printed arcs that extend from the center to the chart's edges. When the pen of the recorder moves, it writes the measurement as it swings along these arcs. The chart is clamped to its geometric center. It rotates at a uniform rate and the time lapse is indicated by the angular position between the arcs. Due to this reason, uh, arcs are also called time arcs. The speed of rotation can be adjusted by using a synchronous motor with suitable gear assembly. The instantaneous value of the quantity under measurement is indicated by the radial position of the pen. The figure 3b illustrates the recording part. Magnitude of number of variable can be, record, can be recorded on a, on a single chart. This helps in analyzing relationship between various measurements and it also saves the panel mounting space. The maximum chart diameter is around 0.3 meters and the resolution along the scales is usually non-uniform. XY recorders A XY chart recorder plots the relationship between the variables like y is equal to function of x. Instead of plotting each variable separately as a function of time, these recorders can display two varying quantities on the x, y axis as in Cartesian coordinates. Here, one variable is applied to the x input and the other to the y input, and the variations are plotted against one another. Its functioning resembles to that of single pen recorder, only difference being the chart, that is, y axis moves in response to the chart in the variable insert at a uniform rate. It is important to note that chart position remains fixed during the measurements. It is the pen that moves simultaneously in x and y direction based on the electrical signal applied to its input terminal. These recorders do not have a time base and can be used to plot variation in one of the variables against time as well. The mechanism of in movement of pen in x and y direction is based on the closed loop servo system illustrated in figure 4. This mechanism is similar to the servo mechanism used in self-balancing potentiometer. The rotating servo motors move the marking pen with help of a string and pulley arrangement. XY recorders are economical to operate at low cost paper that can be used for chart and are more expensive to buy in comparison to strip chart recorders. They cannot be used for continuous measurement. They have sensitivity up to 10 microvolt per millimeter, slowing speed of 1.5 meter per second with the frequency of 6 hertz in both x and y direction and has an accuracy of plus minus 0.2% of the full scale. Paper size used in these recorder is 280 mm into 220 mm or 440 mm into 220 mm. Input impedance range is from 100 kilo ohms to 50 mega ohms. X, Y recorders are employed for plotting current versus voltage curves for diode and transistors. Plotting 
BH curves of magnetic material and plotting speed time curves for electrical motors etc. Oscillographic recorders Primarily there are two kinds of oscillographic recorders galvanometric or CRT recorder. Although pen recorders, XY recorders, strip chart recorders and all may be considered oscillographic recorders. The oscillographic recorders have bandwidth greater than 20 kHz. Galvanometric recorders. They have 2D display and recording device consisting of a mirror galvanometer, light source and continuously rolling light sensitive recording surface. The basic operation is illustrated in figure 5. When galvanometer in under the influence of an external source, an electrical signal through the coil causes galvanometer to rotate accordingly. Light beam from the light source gets reflected from the galvanometer mirror and falls onto the recording surface which is in proportion to the amplitude and to the rate change of the input signal being recorded. More than one galvanometer can be used for recording data. To avoid confusion, overlap recordings, the traces are identified by printing series of number corresponding to the galvanometer position on the edge of the film. In this system, a transmitted light from the source is passed through a numbered film wheel or onto a paper. Reference grid lines are recorded by passing some of the light through a grid line aperture that allows a series of fine bars of light moving sequentially in the same direction as the record travels and gets exposed on to the record simultaneously with the galvanometer traces. CRT recorders. These are four dimensional displays and recording devices. The two axes are conventional ones that is x axis and y axis. The third axis is z axis that can be identified by spot identity on display media or recording surface. The y prime axis is the fourth axis which is the movement of the recording medium. A block diagram of CRT is shown in figure 6. As the name implies, here a cathode ray tube is used and its output light get focused on the recorder either by an optical lens or by a fiber optic faceplate on the CRT and the record is kept in contact with the fiber optic. With CRT recorders, data can be recorded thousand times faster than the galvanometer recorder because of the four axes they have capability to record data continuously. In this module we study about the electronic recording devices. In the introduction first we will briefly discuss about a data recording system and its types. Under graphic recorder we studied about the strip chart recorder, circular chart recorders and XY recorders. So far in this module we have studied about electronic recording devices. Here we have briefly discussed about a data recording system and its types. Under graphic recorders we have studied about strip chart recorder, circular chart recorders and XY recorders. And in the end we studied about oscillographic recorders and its types that is galvanometric recorder and CRT recorders. Thank you.